We often go on flights of fancy like this, where we long to say that which we feel and have not yet said, to tell the story we have not yet thought of, to run around in circles, chasing what others will call impossible dreams. But to us, they're as possible as chasing them themselves. To ramble our words about and let them fly off into the brisk autumn air, like small specks of glitter, as though this is a fleeting moment that will pass before our very eyes. This is the world of Bailey Dream Reacher. Poetry writing, art making, time traveling, hot air balloon riding 10 year old. I know, that's a lot. She goes and visits her friends in her purple and blue hot air balloon and has a great day with them, which she then writes about in her diary. But her friends aren't just anyone. They're actually living legends and historical figures in black culture. And she visits them when they're kids. In every story, a little bit of that person's light is showcased, highlighting the person that they will soon become. She goes snorkeling with Marvin Gaye, carves pumpkins with Ava DuVernay, plays dress up with Ruthie Carter, and goes to a playground with Felicia Rashad. She plays kickball in the sky with Marcus Garvey and reads alongside W.E.B. Du Bois. She hangs out in a library with James Baldwin and has fun on a hot summer day with Nas. Just to name a few. This entire book is a history project. I spent months and months researching and learning about these amazing people I wanted to talk about. Some I had already known of, others I had yet to discover. But I learned so many lessons and it was a beautiful journey that I was able to undertake. This book is also an art project. From the cover that I designed myself, to the storytelling inside from the diary entries, and the poetry. Every poem is talking about an important idea or value system. Things like caring, virtue, respect, comfort food, bubble tea, and the holidays. My favorite part about the poems is that I'm able to talk about important, valuable things through an abstract and creative lens, allowing me to fully explore my ideas but still share important lessons. I love to read. I have multiple bookcases in my room and books scattered all around my home. Words and reading in general is a big part of my life. And it was important that I showcase that in this book. And not only do I love books, I love fantasy books. And I find that sometimes the stories that I wanna read, showcasing my people and the great things we've done are not always available in the way that I'd like them to be. So that's why Dream Your Diary is such an important book to me. And I think it's such an important book for other young people like me. Another one of my favorite elements is the cover. On the front is a beautiful pink swirling portal, allowing you to dive into Bailey Jimish's world and read about her wonderful adventures with her friends. And when you close the book, you end up here on a quote from one of my poems titled Auntie, which is inside of the book. And it reads, the love that is created when ideas are inherited. This perfectly captures the themes inside the book. Friendship, play, imagination, Afrofuturism. I want a love to be created for the reader when they're done. Maybe it's a newfound love of history or reading in general. Maybe they find that they love reading fantasy books and maybe even want to create their own. Whatever love is created, I want the ideas and messages that I've purposely infused into this book to be taken away and cherished. Another element I love is the appeal. 
For kids, it's a whimsical, fantastical tale of fun and friendship. And for adults, they get to find the Easter eggs and clues about these amazing people that they know of. I dream a lot about the Dream Your Diary. I want so many things for this book. Most of all, I want to make it an entire series showcasing tons of amazing people in black culture and eventually create a full-fledged book spanning time and space. I could travel different planets and universes and make up my own characters and put those with historical figures. I might be getting ahead of myself, maybe. But no matter where Dream to Diary takes me, I'm so excited to go there. And I hope you all will come with me.